Alright, alright, because I'm back! What's up, what's up, how are you doing today? So in this video, man, we're gonna do a showcase on the new, I mean somewhat new, right? Hollow Fight Visor Shinji, bro. Call it how you want, man. The new Nat Shinji, right, with the booster ability, hard character, man, 20, 20, 20. We are currently on my guildmate's account. So shout out to him for that, bro. Mura Saime, you know the vibes, man. So Shinji is a hollow killer with a sword important hollow affiliation. We have level 10 attack. Attack, right? And that's kind of it, bro. We have like 20s and everything. A long stride sword barrier, just because he do wants to use this character a lot, bro. You know, in PvE as well. And the sword barrier is gonna be efficient whenever he's gonna use this character in like brave battles or guild quests, right? Even for autoing, the sword barrier is good. This is the build that we are rocking, Golden Chappy. You know the vibes, you know the vibes, bro. There is really nothing to say about these links. I'm not sure if it's like level 5 attack or level 10 attack. Or something like that. I think Soyphone has level 10 attack, but besides that, I don't think any of the links are invested, right? So let's just talk a little bit about this soul tree. So our first ability is gonna be Bruiser 60%, right? Normal attack 60, right? We have Enhancer on the boost, right? The next thing is gonna be Poison, it gives the stagger effect when you're getting hit. Flurry plus one, we do have a booster ability, which is gonna increase our boost effect up to 43%, right? We're gonna get 43% attack, focus, and defense, right? Whenever the boost is active. We have long reach, which is increased normal attack area of effect. We do have melee damage 30% in a guild quest and 10% outside of guild quest. And we do have a 50% killer effect in guild quest, but it's only 30 outside of guild quest, right? And we do have a 50% strong attack damage, which is gonna be useless, right? As usual, you know the vibes, guys, man. He's an insane character, I'm just gonna tell you that, bro. And let's load into an IT. Alright, so we managed to load in. We do have the start barrier active. I don't think we have the hit hidden enemies effect, right? Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't. Okay, so far good damage bro, we're doing 6k without the boosty, right? We do not have full stamina damage boost or anything like that on the character, we have 6k bro, he's doing 6k, whoo, that's good, that's good bro, that's good. Alright, let's check it out, with the boost, right, with the boost, let's go, 8k, 8k, 8.6, mmm, that's fire, let's test out the last nasty string, 9k, Almost 10k, bro. 10k right there. Fire damage, bro. Like, literally fire damage. Imagine this unit, bro, with, like, with, like, uh, full stamina damage boost 25, right? But start barrier is still gonna be super useful on the character. Unfortunately, you know, there is really not too many... Not too many things that we can do with start barrier right now to test it out or whatever. But his auto attacks are super good visually. And I'm having so much fun playing with this unit, bro, right now. Like, literally, man. Literally. Fire, fire. Hopefully, the audio is loud enough. As you can see, by the way, what I wanted to say is that you cannot cancel the animation of the second strong attack. It's not like Oetsu, you know. Uh, for Oetsu, you can, uh, you can cancel the vortex, you know, animation, and you're still gonna get the vortex. Uh, for Shiji, you cannot. You're forced to stay in one place while you're activating... Ah, the third strong attack, bro. <laughs> the third strong attack is insanely good looking, bro. Insanely good looking. Let's net this red suit down, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah? Uh-huh. Let's go. 28k. 28k, bro. Insane damage. Insane damage. Insane value for this character. Especially if you have it, you know? I don't on my account, but it is what it is, man. Good character. Overall, if I have to rank this unit, bro, how good this unit is in terms of the usability, he's a 10 out of 10 character. Some people prefer the melee character, some people prefer the ranged ones. It really doesn't matter, that's just like personal preference, in my opinion. I do like every single melee net character, which has long reach, right? So yeah, that's kinda it, dude. 10 out of 10 character, good for like most of the content in the game, right? Insane value if you have this unit. And one more thing to add in there, he's fun to play. He's literally fun to play, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you guys for watching the video, man. You know the vibes. If you enjoy the content, feel free to sub to the channel because it helps me out a lot. And at the same time, you're not gonna miss these videos, right? So wherever you are, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.